What's good, YouTube and returning life gainers? What are we doing? We riding through the hood, Philadelphia, just showing you guys some of the properties that are in the hood because where a lot of people don't want to invest is a great place for you to invest. I think Warren Buffett or one of them said where others zig, you zag, and that's how you make money in investing. And one of my mentors once taught me this, the smellier a house is, he told his kids, what does that mean? It means money. And that's what you can do when you invest in the hood. And we're going to talk about that in this video. If you enjoy the content on my channel, please go ahead, subscribe, click the notification bell. So you're down every time we drop a new life gains video. If you want to support this channel, make a donation over there at Patreon. That's how we build on this channel and continue making these great videos and if you want to read my blogs and do a little bit of shopping i've got a great blog up on about how to get started in real estate seven ways at shoplifegains.com now let's talk about the importance of getting started a real estate investing in the hood In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, just damn all everything. The sex is hell host. We bringing you, you guys, life gains in real estate, buying back the block. My folks from Minorityville understand what I'm saying. And the sound that you hear is my wife working on a part for something we're building on right now because real estate is that powerful. So let's talk about buying back the block, but first, let me put on my plus seven glasses of sexy as hell and work on skilling up this craft, giving you guys a better YouTube experience, something better to look at. So a lot of us and a lot of investors in real estate will not buy in the hood. Some of them claim they don't understand the mindset of those in poverty. Some of them just don't want to go to the hood and worry about the tenants. But ladies and gentlemen, my minorities out there that are looking to invest, and don't have a lot to invest, you don't have a lot of credit, going to the hood and getting property is a great way to build a real estate portfolio. Let me just kind of explain to you some reasons why. Number one, property values in a lot of these areas are not gonna be that high, meaning that the value of the home is not gonna be high, meaning that your loan, if you get one, is not gonna be that high. It doesn't matter how bad your credit is. You can pretty much go anywhere and get a car loan for twenty-five dollars to $30,000. Now they're gonna kill you with your interest. And a car loan is a liability, it's not an asset. Think about if you go to someone, you go to a friend, or you go to a local bank, and you have a little bit of money to put down on something that's $25,000. Generally, you've gotta put down 20%. Let's say you work hard for you, you save up four or five grand, and you go to a bank, and they will give you the money to get something in the hood that's about $25,000. You've just got yourself an asset. You've just got something to start your portfolio. You've just got something that can be paid off in a relatively short amount of time. Your loan payment is probably not gonna be that high, which means as long as you do the right things, that particular property will be bringing you cash flow each and every month. Those are some good reasons why you want to start buying back the block. That's an investment strategy that I'm doing in my own household. I incorporate a property manager. You can do the same. You can also incorporate the quote unquote section eight program. And that is a way you will have tenants just like that that are usually on a waiting list everywhere in America. Now, yes, you are going to want to have some money put aside as you're building this income for incidentals, for when you know you gotta fix a toilet or anything like that. But ladies and gentlemen, if you wanna look for a low risk way 
to get into real estate investing, to start building your portfolio, to start building generational income that you can pass down from yourself to your kids and forward and forward, buy back the block, go in the hood and buy some of those projects. And one thing that those, those type of homes can do for you is you can scale them up. Just because you get them and they're not in the best shape, that means that you can't fix up the kitchen, fix up the bathrooms, and that's gonna help increase the value of that particular location that you bought. So ladies and gentlemen, don't be afraid of that investing. It's not gonna cost you as much as you was to go to a, a B or A neighborhood and have to get a $100,000 loan. It has the ability for you to scale it up in value. And like I said before, every time you get one of these, you're building onto your real estate portfolio, creating wealth that's gonna outlast you if you so decide to use that and it's an asset, it's not a liability. So before you consider buying a new car, ride around in your old car and think about going and getting yourself a loan for an asset such as some type of property that you can get in the hood that is low risk, low attainability to get into that will bring you high rewards, high longevity and it'll be something you can keep for a lifetime. And then when you get older and you're ready to retire, that's going to be another stream of money coming in for you. And then you might can go ahead and get that high dollar Lamborghini or whatever it is you might decide to get at that point in your life. But right now while you're trying to build, put your loans on assets, not liabilities, and buying back the block is a great way to get started for low risk and getting into real estate. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. You want to learn a little bit more about my real estate strategy? Go out there and join my Patreon. I do um, send those individuals emails, talk to them about all the different things I'm into. It's quick access to me. Also, if you're really, really, really wanting to do a little bit more learning about what it is I'm doing, that's where I do it as well on Patreon. And let's network as well. So if you want to do a YouTube talking about your experience in investing, talking about your apprehensions when investing, hit me up at any of the links in my video description and let's make that happen because real estate is definitely a place where networks are king, not necessarily cash. To that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.